Giving me a, a 55 at minimum every time. 3-1, just stay on the bottom. I mean, those guys might come down and hit you, but just ignore them. I do this part kind of weird. I bounce on the first two Koopas and it lands me on that bullet bill launcher. But I know there are situations where it doesn't do that. And I think... I'm not exactly sure the way other people do it. Oh, I'm guessing that seems like a pretty good way to do that. Can you just walk off? I guess you could just walk off. I like bouncing on enemies though, so I'm gonna stick to the bouncing on the enemy thing. Shoot two fireballs, land on that Koopa. It's a pretty short level, there's really not that much to it. Uh, oh, I wonder what, what happens if you just bounce on that guy. Oh, okay, you don't want to jump on that spring. If you jump on that spring and actually get, like, a bounce from it, you do this, and it's very slow. But I guess technically, you could, if you're feeling crazy, you could just bounce off of it for, for some good old fun, you know? You could always avoid the Koopa if you want as well. Didn't really think about that. But you can't make that jump. So yeah, I don't know. I just shoot the Koopa and make it over. Is that a speedrun? <laughs> uh, what exactly? I guess these are technically all individual level speedruns. Let's see, 3-2. 3-2 can just suck. Can't really do anything about it, excuse me. There, there are basically two kinds of philosophies with water levels. It's usually you just stay big and you just kill everything in your way. And you'll have to do that in some situations no matter what. So give, you, it'll take a lot of practice. I do not like sniping enemies underwater. So it will take a lot of practice to get comfortable just like going up to an enemy like that and shooting him. And this blooper is always going to be there. And he's going to be accompanied with a fish up top as well. But, well actually sometimes that fish isn't there, but the blooper's always there. He can go left or right. And I don't know. It just depends. It's different every time, so. I think it's frame dependent or whatever. Like that blooper's always there, so is that one. I just recommend playing this level a bunch and getting really comfortable with fire. I like bouncing. I like hitting my head on that thing because it makes me feel like I'm going down quicker, but I don't know that it is. See, if you know he's going left, I go below him. Because I'm just- I'm so afraid of losing fire. That's like the biggest thing, man. Just don't lose fire. If you do anything to prevent that, do it. You, you, you usually have to get really close to enemies like I just did, and that just makes me nervous. I don't like it. So yeah, no, I don't think there's a lot to say about water levels other than practice them. Oh, well, you can do this, of course. If you ever need to, hold down, sit down on something, hold down A, and then swim. And now you can't shoot fire, but you have a small hitbox. See, I can go inside this now with my head. And that's extremely useful. I get the small hitbox for 6-2 and B-2 for different parts of them. You'll, you'll get to a point where you start going in between big and small, depending on how you play. And both are good. At least in later levels, you have to thread a lot of needles, and it's awful if you're big Mario. This, I always try to land really far over on this moving platform to make, to make it to that platform way up there. So I pull back a little bit there, shoot that guy, or just go over him. You just want to jump off the very edge of this platform. I feel like that's the easiest thing to mess up. It, whoopsie. And if you run on this too long, it makes it a lot harder. Yeah. So if you run it from the very beginning, it's a very tight jump. Whoopsie. But if you land at the edge and then jump really quickly, it's it's pretty safe. I would practice this level a lot because it took me a while to feel comfortable doing that. Oh, and there is a mushroom in this level. One of the few locations that I know about. I believe it's 
Isn't there one around here? There's one somewhere, I swear. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can get a fire, fire flower or a mushroom right there. But we don't need that crap. I know the audio stopped, but that's just because of my save states. You don't have to bounce off of that Koopa, but it's fun. And it, it might save a frame roll, actually. I don't know. It does get you all the way to the top of the flagpole. Well, you may as well. Just run off the... You can just run off at the beginning. You don't have to duck. I don't think you have to duck. Oh, maybe... I don't think so. Yeah, you can just hold right for that whole beginning thing. So, you have to do that, or else you won't get the right... You won't, uh, complete the puzzle properly? I just bonk into him and do that. I, I mean, you could try being crafty and, like, jumping early, but I just never want to lose fire in this level. And this is probably the true. I think this is the... Pretty much the trickiest part. What I do is I wait until I get to around that column in the background, and then I start ducking there. And then you have to run up a little bit, and then duck so that you make it past this gap. Duck for that whole thing. If you don't duck for that path, you have to do that. I don't know if you can redo it. Okay, you can redo it, but yeah, that stuff can happen. So preferably, you would just avoid that, and then go up top. As soon as you hear the ding ding noise or whatever, you can just go up top. I just kill the first piranha plant and go around. There's some there's a way to do it so that you do something like that, I think. I'm pretty sure that's another method. But I, I never do it that way, so. Oh, that was an awkward pattern. But yeah. Not a whole lot to it. You just really need to practice the ducking section of this level. So I've messed that up a few times. That's really easy to. Because you... if you lose a lot of speed, then of course you want to let go of duck, but then you'll get stuck in that run.